Hello, this is Divine Honesty, and I'm back with another reading. Today, I will be reading for Cancer's Love Life for February 2019. Now, let's get started. So, first, we have the world. Okay, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Mm. All right, Cancer. So what I'm seeing now is the fact that, you know, you have a new perspective, okay, on what happened in your relationship. I'm seeing now, or you're trying to get a deeper understanding of what happened on a new relation, on your past relationship. I'm seeing things are coming full circle. And now you want a, per, a different perspective on that, okay? And this is your first major of kind of or kind of card, okay? So I'm seeing that you're going within Cancer. And now for the Page of Swords, this could represent, you know, a bit of bad news. Maybe you guys are going through some bad times, or you have went through bad times. This also can mean um, conflict in regards to children, okay? And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm seeing here, this has to do with some documentation. This could be child support. This can be custody, um, lease, anything like that. And I'm seeing also this could be a new job. Okay. All have um, an effect on the relationship cancer. Now let's clarify these cards for you to get a, a more in-depth explanation. For the world, we have the Four of Wands. For the Page of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay. And for the uh, Ace of Pentacles, we have the Hanging Man. Okay, so you could be possibly dealing with the Air sign with this Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Now, I'm seeing the Four of Wands to represent the world card. Basically... Um, family life. So you have a new perspective on family life because of this relationship, okay? I'm seeing the Ace of Swords to represent the Page of Swords, okay? Since there's two Aces, this could be a new relationship, okay? A brand new relationship or a brand new start or like I said before, a new perspective in the relationship. Now you're looking at things differently, okay? All right. Also, this can mean that there were fighting about children. Okay, so maybe you fought. Maybe the fighting is about children. Okay, maybe you want children, and your partner doesn't, or maybe what? Since are y'all if y'all broken up, where the child's going to go? Who they're going to be with? Okay. Now, for the hanging man representing the Ace of Pentacles. If it has nothing to do with money, which it could mean money, you're having confusion where what to do about money within the relationship. It could also mean what action you're going to take because of the conflict, and you don't know yet. If you look at the hanging man, he's looking out to the future, okay? You don't know how to move within the future. There needs to be a new perspective. This insight you have gathered from looking at the relationship as a whole Use that in your advantage in order to propel um, the relationship, either propelling to get over the relationship or to fix the relationship. But use your perspective and to, your, to your benefit, okay? Now, I'm seeing that you can be misunderstood. So maybe these conflicts come from a misunderstanding from you. You do like to wear your emotions on your sleeve, Cancer, but you can also put up a mask, okay? Instead of coming out stating that you're hurt, you can just come out pinching and fighting when really it's hurt because of something your partner did, okay? But you have to find a new way of expressing that, okay? Now, let's see what your partner, how your partner views the relationship, okay? So, we have... The Three of Wands. We have the Empress. And we have the King of Wands. Okay. So you could be dealing with the Aries. If not an Aries, a fire sign. 
Sagittarius and Leo. Now, I'm seeing which, how your partner views the situation. They're ready to move on. Either they're wanting to move on, and you can sense that, um, Cancer, or they have already have moved on, which is represented by the Three of Wands, okay? Now, the Empress... Now, this also has to do with birth, motherhood, children. So, I'm seeing from the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords, this would make sense. Um, there's something that has to do with children, okay? I'm seeing now maybe you were pregnant. Maybe the other person um, is pregnant. Or there's a new child in your guy's life. It has to do with children, and that's causing some of your conflict. Or maybe you want children and your partner didn't. Or your partner wanted children and you didn't. Either way, it has some type of element surrounding family and children. Okay? Then we have the King of Wands. Okay? Now, he's looking at the fire needing that. So, I'm saying maybe your relationship has died down and that fire is not there anymore there's a lot of bickering there's a lot of going back and forth but you guys once had that passion okay you once had that passion before all the fighting and maybe before you guys had children okay now to let's clarify your partner's perspective for the three of wands we have the king of swords for the empress we have the moon and for the King of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Now, for the King of Swords to represent the Three of Wands, let's take a look here. Now, we see that they're looking at the situation, too. Like, they are they going to move on? If they have already moved on, they are thinking about you, Cancer. They are looking back at the situation, replanning in their head. Now, they can... Uh, see you as being clingy or controlling okay and you can see them of being um someone who looks down or someone who judges okay they might also be working in a field where they're um in law or the police field or some type of an authoritative field as well okay but they see you as being controlling okay also, for the moon, you could be dealing with the Pisces, another water sign, but there was some lies, there was some distruths, illusions, and I'm saying it has to do with the Empress, which um, represents children, motherhood. So, either that person, you know, promised you a child and now they, they don't want one, or you don't want one, or, you know, they had a secret love child. Okay, or they went back to a previous family, but there has to be there's some lies in regarding to the family life. And I'm seeing it matches you when your world was represented by the four of wands, which is family life. So you're coming to understand that in the relationship, and that's having that's having you seek guidance. You want to be get more in depth on why they chose that that path, okay. And for the King of Wands, I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles. Okay, I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles is they had a choice, okay? And they made their choice, okay? They made a choice where they feel like they would be more fulfilled, okay? And But they are looking at you now. They're looking at you, and you might seem as if they're playing hot and cold. One minute they want to go back to this other person. One minute they want you. But they're choosing. They're having you stuck to cancer. And that's why you have this hanging man energy. Okay? You don't know what to do. Now let's get farther insight on the overall outcome. The overall outcome, we have the Eight of Cups. So it's basically saying move on, cancer. Move on. This person's going to go back and forth. They're going to lie move on if you're not if you're not in a relationship with this person heal you're you're on the right path okay looking if you look at the picture you see the moon okay the moon is big and you're seeing through these lies okay you're seeing through these lies you're finally understanding okay what's going on you're understanding that and it, it kind of have you unfulfilled you're like everything i thought it was it's not is not there anymore, which is okay. You don't want to be around someone where you 
you don't know where you stand cancer they might say oh my gosh you're too intense you're too clingy you need to be with someone who match your vibrations okay and the only way you can do that is to look through the pain don't fight the pain don't go inside look through it so therefore once you get in another situation you can see it for what it is this is all a learning journey for you this has been a learn experience for you for the real thing okay if you're deciphering if you're deciding if you want to be with your partner these um cards are telling you to move on okay that is your outcome is to move on that will be in your best benefit and the overall message for February of 2019, Cancer, is the Justice card. So if you are dealing with custody, child support, anything legally, it will be in your favor. It will be fair. Now, as long as you want it to be fair, it will be in your favor because it will be fair. It will be just. Anything that that person did to you, Cancer, they will get their karma. Okay, they will get their karma. There's nothing for you to harp and to want to do for this person or you want this situation to hurt them there's not it's not for you to do that it's for you to move on and let go trust me the universe will take care of that justice is on your side and thank you for viewing my cancers if any of this resonates please subscribe share and like and this has been another divine honesty thank you for watching